Democratic National Convention is now underway in Philadelphia, but tonight we are hearing from some Austin police officers who were in Cleveland last week for the Republican National Convention. They were there to help keep the peace. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us live from APD headquarters with that story. Casey. Rebecca, because of the political climate our country is in at the moment, police departments from around the country were asked to help out with the RNC in Cleveland if they could. The Austin Police Department could, so they sent 93 officers. The shooting of five Dallas law enforcement officers was still fresh on their minds. And on the day before the Republican National Convention kicked off, three more officers were killed in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think going into it, there's a lot of... Uh kind of tense feelings on our part. We want to prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Austin Police Department Assistant Chief Frank Dixon, Sergeant Robert Hawkins, and Steve Deaton, commander of the Special Response Team, were among 93 APD officers helping out with RNC in Cleveland. Anytime you go to an event like this, it's a global platform for every anarchist and uh, group with an agenda to air their grievances in front of the, not the world media. But as these officers report, it didn't turn out so bad. The people of Cleveland could not have been nicer. I think all of us would agree. I, I've not been treated that well in the 21 years I've been a police officer. Dixon says at one point they worked a protest. Both the Nation of Islam and Black Lives Matter were there. The three of us, along with uh, Commander Eveleth, went down and just started meeting the people, meeting them, shaking their hands, talking to them, carrying on conversations. That protest went off without a hitch. And in fact, as they were breaking up, they were taking the time to come up and talk to us and shake our hands, Thank telling us how much, yeah, telling us how much they appreciated it. Deaton says during the week they spent in Cleveland, their jobs were about the people, not the politics. Even if you don't believe in what this group is saying or doing and what their philosophy is, that's not supposed to matter to us. And it doesn't matter to us. They're a person, they have a right in America to speak their mind, and they have a right to be safe from other people who oppose that thought. But there were some issues. Dixon says there were 23 arrests over the course of the convention. Some of those were when a flag burning demonstration became violent. The officers say they also found booby traps intended for law enforcement, like bottles of urine and cinder blocks. But thankfully, no major issues and plenty of support for the blue. At one point, there was a street almost similar to 6th Street where every single person stood up and gave a standing ovation as police officers moved. And I think it was very moving to us. It let us know that, you know, the 90% of the people out in the public really do support their police officers. Commander Deaton says as they were leaving, Cleveland police and Ohio State police told them, you know, this goes both ways. If you ever need us, we'll send as many officers as we can.